If you're looking to boost your website's traffic and authority, in this video, I'll show you how to create a powerful content hub on your WordPress website that will help you organize your content, drive more traffic and increase your authority on a specific topic. Let's dive into it. Before we get started, if you hit the like button, you'd make me super happy. And if you like online marketing, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as that is pretty much the only thing that we like to talk about here at Thrive Games. Now, before we get started, I want you all to understand what a content hub is and why it's important that you learn how to build these on your website. Think of a content hub as a page on your WordPress website that serves as a high level guide on a specific topic. For example, here's a really good content hub on keto diet. This page covers on a high level basis what keto is, the types of foods you can eat, the ones that you should avoid, and some other popular best practices towards getting on a keto diet. However, notice how each section in this page has internal links that take visitors to a separate page to learn more information about each topic being presented. In this page, we're essentially just being presented with like a high level picture of what a keto diet consists of and the call to actions throughout serve as links to sub pages that address specific topics in detail. This is an amazing way of providing information to visitors by answering their most common questions, get internal links set up on your website, which will really help you in terms of SEO and ultimately help you get more traffic and visitors on your website. With that said, let's build a nice content hub about Thrive Themes. Perfect. So the structure for a content hub is going to look something along the following lines. We are going to have a strong H1 heading with relevant keywords at the very top. We will then have a short intro paragraph that is going to serve as our hook. And it should probably also answer some of the most basic and frequent, frequently asked questions. We are also going to need a table of contents that serves as a guide for people to quickly navigate through all of the main topic ideas outlined in our page. And then we're also going to have all of our content sections with H2 headings made up of relevant keywords. And these will often be in the form of a question. And, you know, since content hops are typically long pages made up of different key ideas, we can take the opportunity to break these sections apart by inserting some banners promoting our products or services. All right, so what we're going to do is build a content hub about Thrive Themes. Now, what do I really mean with that? Well, let's just assume for the sake of this video that we run a blog like WP Beginner and we want to create a content hub about Thrive Themes that has everything that anyone interested in purchasing Thrive Suite could possibly be interested in. For example, we're going to have a few sections in our page that talk about every major plugin that Thrive Suite comes with. We will then have call to actions inside those sections that link to sub pages that go a little bit more in depth into each of these tools. We are also going to have an FAQ section about some of the most common questions about Thrive Themes. And let's just assume that we sell video courses about how to use Thrive Suite products so that we can insert some banners throughout our content hub promoting them. All right, let's get started. Awesome, so I'm in the back end of my WordPress website, as you can see, and just a quick reminder, if you haven't installed Thrive Architect, which is the main tool that we're going to be using today, um, there is going to be a card popping up on screen right now in the top right corner. If you click on it, it's going to take you to a tutorial walking you through how to install the Thrive Product Manager and walking you through how to use Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect in detail. So. I'm assuming for the sake of this tutorial that you've already done so, and let's go ahead and get started creating our content hub. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new page. Since our content hub is going to be all about Thrive Themes, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this Thrive Themes. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a draft, and let's go ahead and launch Thrive Architect. Awesome, so as you can see, Thrive Architect is presenting us with a few different options here to pick from. We can either start creating a normal page using our default Thrive Theme Builder page template, we can start with a blank page that only contains our, our main header and footer. We can start from a completely blank page. That means that we're not going to have a header, we're not going to have a footer. We're simply going to have a blank canvas to start working from. This is typically a good option if you're looking to build out a single landing page. And then we can also start building out our page from a pre-built landing page. In this case, we're going to be wireframing our content hub completely from, from scratch in terms of content but I do want our main header and footer to be included in there. So let's go ahead and pick out this option here. Awesome, so as you can see, this is what we've been provided by Thrive Architect. We have a main header, which has the WP Beginner logo. 
um, a sandwich menu and then our main footer, but we don't have any content, right? We're going to be wireframing this whole page from scratch. Awesome. So let's go ahead and start populating this page with some of the sections that we're going to need to have, right? We're going to have a background section for each of our sections. So in this case, we're going to have a background section for a main banner that we're going to have at the top. Let's go ahead and label this so that we know what each section is for. This is going to be our main top banner promoting our product. Let's go ahead and get rid of the line spacing and we can center this vertically speaking. And I'm just going to go ahead and set that to bold. We're going to need another section, which is going to serve as our main introductory text and our table of contents. And I'm thinking that I want that section to be a two column layout. So let's go ahead and make, you know, let's center this vertically speaking, insert a content box right there, center this vertically speaking, going to insert a two column layout. Let's add in a little bit of gutter width here. So let's do like 45 pixels. That way we have a little bit of more breathing room in between these two columns. Let's have a table of contents on the right hand column. And we can pick out any of these good looking templates. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the first one here. And let's just insert a little bit of text on the left hand column. This is going to be our introduct introduction text, which will serve as our hook. Let's get rid of the line spacing. Center this vertically speaking. And here we have a main background section. I'm going to actually go ahead and give this a little bit of background color. Since I'm trying to replicate this page as if it were being built on WP Beginner, um, I've set this orange to be my main primary color in my theme. And so Thrive Theme Builder is automatically providing Thrive Architect with these awesome background colors that are attached to my primary color for my theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that bright orange. Let's actually switch the color of our font here to white. Great, and now let's insert a new section that's going to talk about Thrive Suite in general. We're not gonna focus on any given plugin quite yet. We're just going to be talking about Thrive Suite. So let's insert an H2 heading here, Thrive Suite Info. A little bit of text underneath it. And I'm thinking that in between the text and the main heading, we can actually have a, some, some kind of graphic in there. So for example, let's have Mr. Tony here pushing the Thrive Suite logo. Great, let's keep going. Let's actually add in a new section. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to start splitting up sections by background colors, all right? So we've had a main background section at the very top, which is going to be our main top banner promoting our main product in orange. Then we've had a couple of sections in white. So let's actually make this background section, the next one, um, a type of light orange here. So our accent light which is actually not orange. It's more of like pinkish. But yeah, having this contrast in background colors is definitely going to make the scrolling experience a little bit more smoother for our users. And now it's just a question of keep on building. So we're gonna be dropping a content box. I'm going to start doing a series of two column layouts when it comes to promoting our main plugins. So let's do a two column layout here as well. And let's try to be consistent with the cutter width. So let's do 45 pixels. And since I have an image left aligned here at the, you know, at the, you know, in my prior section, let's actually have the graphic for this particular section sit on the right hand column. All right, so this section is going to be about Thrive Theme Builder. So let's use this one. Great. And now we just need to insert a little bit of text here about Thrive Theme Builder. Let's make this RH2. So this is going to be Thrive Theme Builder section with some text underneath it. And of course, we're going to have our main button here. Something that I'm thinking is that I may want to have a little bit of internal padding in between sections. So here, for example, um, for Thrive Suite, let's do 40 pixels at the top and the bottom. And then for Thrive Theme Builder, we may want to do another 40 pixels. And by doing this, we're creating a little bit of more breathing room at the top of our 
at the top and the bottom of our background sections. So this is giving it even more contrast in between sections and it's it just makes things a little bit easier to to take in. Awesome, let's keep going. Now to speed this whole thing up, since I'm going to be simply repeating these uh, this series of two column layouts, I can just clone this background section and Thrive, Team, uh, Thrive Architect is going to provide me with the same exact section, duplicate it, and now I can just comment here into Thrive Architect and tell Thrive Architect, hey, reverse column the order of these, of these um, columns. And now my graphic is showing up to the left and my text and call to action is on the right. And I can just come into the background section and make this white. And boom, this is a very easy way of taking one section in your page and just duplicating it really quick. And since I'm now going to want this section again, I can just clone this and put it right towards the bottom part of our page. Great. So we have a section about Thrive Theme Builder. We're going to do one about Thrive Architect. Let's change the graphic. Great, here's one for Thrive Architect. Let's do one for Thrive Apprentice. Wait. Let's change the graphic for that as well. Let's do one. For, and let's do one more for Thrive Quiz Builder. Perfect. So you can now start to see what this is going to what this is going to end up looking like, right? We have a main introductory text, which is going to serve as our hook. We have a table of contents, some general information about Thrive Suite. We may be able to center align this um, because right now it's kind of floating towards the uh, to, towards the left of the of the screen, which is kind of looking a little bit awkward. And let's just center this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be fully happy with the result of this, but let's just power through this as it is right now. Awesome. And then we have a section about Thrive Theme Builder. I'm thinking that I want to left align these buttons actually. Great. So one thing that we can do is in between some of these sections, as people are, are scrolling through our main content hub, we can have another banner in here uh, promoting our main product. In this case, we're going to be promoting a series of courses about Thrive um, Suite that we've recorded and that we're selling. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit similar to what we have going on uh, here at the very top. So let's give this, we could actually wait, we could just um, clone this section, bring it down, and let's just stick it in here underneath Thrive Architect. Great. So we have a top banner promoting our product. We then have our hook, table of contents, Thrive Suite general information, a section about Thrive Theme Builder, one more for Thrive Architect, one more banner promoting our main course. Um, we have a section on Thrive Apprentice, a section on Thrive Quiz Builder, and I'm thinking that we should probably have a section with some FAQ section, uh, some FAQs. So let's do that. Let's insert a background section, a content box. And notice how, you know, if in case you're wondering why I'm introducing content boxes, content boxes are really cool because they automatically give 20 pixels of internal padding to whatever content is sitting inside of it. So if I am ready to start optimizing things for mobile, my content isn't stretching out to the full width of my screen because it's sitting inside a content box. And that content box is automatically assigning 20 pixels of internal padding all around, which is pretty nice. It just beats things up a little bit when it comes to mobile optimizing our page. But that is a, a you know, material for, for a separate video. Great. Also, um, take a closer look at what happened with our table of contents. As we populated our page with some H tags, our table of contents has automatically started to fill up with some of these sections that we've created, right? So right now, our table of contents is getting populated with um, are H2, H3, and H4 headings, right? So in this case, we're only using H2, H2 headings right now, which means that if we turn off H3 and H4, nothing is going to happen because only our H2 headings are showing up. But what we could do is, I'm not loving how um, we have these titles uh, being numerated. Let's get rid of those numbers. So here, let's go ahead and uh, uncheck this type. Let's do none. That way we simply have our H2 headings. And one thing that's kind of bogging me right now is that the table of contents is a little bit too thin in my own personal taste. So, you know, I don't need it to be 
as wide as my column is. So I'm thinking that I am going to make this left-hand column a little bit wider and make the right-hand column not so wide. But what we could do is come over here to the table of content settings and under layout and position, let's just increase the max width that we've assigned to this table of contents. Let's make it about, yeah, let's just make it 600 pixels, 600 pixels for now. And let's make sure that we set the alignment to be uh, none. And that is automatically stretching out our table of contents. Great, so let me just populate some of these sections with some legitimate text and see what the overall result looks like. All right, so as you can see, I've made a few tweaks here. Um, I've changed and updated the text throughout the whole page. And I did make this Thrive Suite information section be, you know, the same type of two column layout section as my rest of the page, uh, just for the sake of being consistent. I wasn't too happy with the way in which it was turning out. So I think this looks much, much cleaner, having it be consistent with the rest of the page. And one thing that I do feel like we need to do is have this be a little bit more obvious that this is a, a call to action. So that's a simple underlining here. Um, our Thrive Suite educational program here. If we underline this, this is already sending a signal to visitors that, hey, you can actually click here. Um, this is a main call to action that you can click on, uh, you know, to learn more about our Thrive Suite educational program. Then we have our main hook, which is going to serve, um, you know, as a as a simple, you know, question answer to the to the question about, you know, what is Thrive Themes? Thrive Themes is the all-in-one solution you need to build high converting WordPress websites. We have a table of contents, which is pulling up the information and you know it serves as a jump link to all of these different sections and it's grabbing the information from our main H2 headings. I do feel like we are missing a main call to action here in the hero section. So let's just actually add in a button and let's have the call to action just be explore more and we can have this be a jump link to start learning more about Thrive Suite, for example. That way, when people click on this button, it's going to automatically scroll down to Thrive Suite. And these buttons that you're seeing in all of these section, all, in all of these sections are going to serve as buttons that take people to sub pages to learn more about each different thing, uh, tool or plugin. You know? So this Thrive Suite information, if people click on learn more, it's going to take them to a sub page exclusively about Thrive Suite, you know, how much does it cost, what plugins come with Thrive Suite, and so forth and so on. Same thing applies to Thrive Theme Builder, right? If they click on this Learn More button, they're going to be redirected to a sub page that covers Thrive Theme Builder in depth. You know, what, you know how does it work? How many themes does it come with? Uh, the functionalities that, that, it, that it offers, and so forth and so on. And we did forget to add in an FAQ section. Now, I was going to start creating this from scratch, but let's actually just see if we can use a block from Thrive Architect to just try to speed this up a little bit. Great, so we do have an FAQ section here that we can probably use. Uh, let's just grab this first one, for example. Awesome, we no longer need that background section. And since we just previously used the background section with a back, with a white background color, let's just go ahead and assign this block our pinkish background color just for the sake of being consistent. Let's add in a little bit of Okay, it does have 40 pixels of internal padding. Same here. All right, so we have pinkish, white, pinkish, main banner promoting our product. And then we have white, pinkish, white, and our main hero section. Cool. Now, I think what I do want to do is add a little bit more of gutter width here. Maybe even more. Let's make it 120 pixels. Okay, yeah, that's, that's better. And what if we were just to bold this section here in the main? introductory paragraph. Thrive Themes allows you to create beautiful, responsive websites that are optimized for conversions. Awesome. And this is starting to look like a pretty solid content hub page with a, a good hook, a table of contents, some general information about some of the plugins that Thrive Themes comes with. I haven't spent too much time building out sections for all of the different plugins because we do have a lot of them, but I think you can kind of start to get the gist of, of what we're building here. And what I would probably do with this FAQ section is look up what are some of the most frequently asked questions about Thrive Themes. That way um, we can send a signal to Google that this page is addressing those questions. And so long as we can provide good high quality answers, this page should be a, a really good page to try to rank on Google.
And that's about how easy it is to build out a nice content hub using Thrive Architect. Just a small reminder that Thrive Architect is available as a standalone plugin on its own or when you sign up for Thrive Suite. With it, you not only can build rock solid content hub pages, but you can build and replicate pretty much any page out there. I've built the New York Times, Abercrombie and Fitch, and Apple.com, just to name a few. So yeah, if you're interested in learning more about Thrive Architect, be sure to click the link down in the description box below. I am down in the comment section as well if you have any questions about content hubs. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.